Incremental greetings. Welcome to Pleasure Learning. I'm Guillem Palau, also known as William Palace. Today, I want to share with you uh, how to install and import the English collection, especially if you are new to Super Memo or if you are just browsing and see if in the future you will use it. So first and foremost, you have to buy the collection and you can use the link below to buy it so you, you could support this channel and it won't cost you an extra. So once you get things done, you will have these three files, Advanced English Collection. And when I'm recording this, this is the last version, 2018, which is just three years old now. Elements and Phonetic. I already exported that. So before getting things done is, that's my main collection. And if you notice, if I go into, other registries, you have two special registries here. This comes from the English collection because I have already used the English collection. You have pronunciation by sound, so you have the phonetic sound and the, the actual spelling, and you have the other way out by word. So you have the word and how this pronounced, for instance, the numbers five and so on, or any other. This works in any collection, not just the English collection. So second, second thing I want to notice is here you have where is the collection coming from. And as you can see, I'm not using the default. So this is where I'm going to go now. D in my case is drive D SM184, which was the, it's the version I'm using and systems. Okay. Okay. So in my case, I have one dedicated drive for Super Memo. That's where it installed. Here you can tell. I already have the phonetic. That will be it. So you just drag and drop. In my case, I don't need that because I already did um, that last year. Second is the collection, the AI 2018. So you go to systems and in the systems, you will see all the collections you have. In my case, I have several collections. Usually you will have your main collection, the ABC collection, most likely. So you just uh, drag and drop this. Keep in mind that the name has to be the same, the, the dot K N O and the folder. And here we have elements, history images, registry and so task and so on. So here in elements, you have this folder. You have all the media files possible here. You could just drag and drop here, but I don't recommend that because since this will be static, these pictures are not yours, it's already pre-made. What it suggests is to use a secondary storage. So when you backup, you backup only what you're adding, not the entire thing plus what you're adding. So for instance, one of my collections, learning uh, elements, just at random. Here is just HTML. So in my case, I will use the same drive for the secondary storage. So I will call it English media. Okay. And then I will move all the elements here. This will take a while. Okay, so now it's about to end. Okay, keep in mind one detail, it's more important. The last folder has to be called elements. So in this case, it's D, English media and elements. So in the collection, when I want to set external secondary storage, I will use just D and English media not English media and elements. So now I will start super memo. That's my main uh, profile. So open collection. And now we can select the English advanced English collection. You will see the total items and so on. Okay. Even though now you have date of today. So that's the day one. If we, did, we do the first repetition, you see that there is no sound it's because we need audio files. Now we don't have them because we have to yet do one last step. That is setting 
the secondary storage. So you go to Toolkit, Options, go to the second tab called Access and Secondary Storage. Here select English Media. In my case, I call it English Media, not the elements. Here, the English Media. OK. And OK. Now we go, I, I go back. Yeah, perhaps I, I need to exit and start again. Food. And here it is. Food. Food. Sometimes you have the audio and sometimes you have the audio and pictures. But what's good is that the backup you will do is just for the content, the pictures you're adding to it. Nothing more to add here. I will cover in more videos how to get familiar with the, the English collection, how it can be useful, if it's worth it or not, and so on. So, if you would like to get the collection, uh, please feel free to use the link below and you will support me doing the work in this channel.